now security and identity management what is there in cloud services how the in cloud services when you are trying to access how it is protected from the unauthorized person right now to access this cloud services we are creating users in your cloud the subscription in a single subscription we are creating a main account we by default main account is created in that we are creating multiple subscriptions right in this subscription we are creating a users now these users exactly map to your i mean on premise active directory users or you can have the your own users now in this creating a users in a cloud services it's a i will show you the practical of this how do you create users in the this thing services in, in uh, microsoft azure so i'll i'll show you how that is happening cloud services model uh there are models you can see this is made by the other companies salesforce crm lotus live this is the cloud infrastructure saas pass and iss all three services is offered by salesforce crm whereas software as a services now what is software as a services what is platform as a services and what is infrastructure as a services exactly means software as a services is meaning that a provider a software saas service provider will be providing you application which you can access consume from any device any time anywhere right now the application which can be available on this is microsoft office product suit then then the various erp softwares and uh, crm so these are the option but you can go to the microsoft marketplace and you can find more and more number of application so saas then saas is 90% saas is basically nothing but microsoft office 365 is also called as a software as a services in which microsoft is providing all the uh, application without setting up a single infrastructure in your premise neither purchasing also so you can just purchase a software without any problems you without uh, i mean purchasing any uh, hardware infrastructure if you want to run a business just take uh, you want to run a business and you have a uh, correspondence and a small accounting business i uh, means accounting this thing you are doing you can purchase accounting software from the marketplace you can install the uh, ms office all on this for your letter correspondence and laser and um, presentation and other things so for this you can just take this much platform as a services as a developer if you are a developer if your application developer you don't want to purchase a hardware you don't want to purchase a software tools to develop an application you want to use this as a services or subscription right as so the uh, cloud provider will provide you a platform on which the tools are available and storage will be available and everything will be available right so in a platform as a services what will be advantage this will be available not in the office 365 but it is in microsoft azure microsoft azure is having a this services available with them now using this services you just have to take a you tools and start developing an application this application will be you can i mean these application from here here from this place also you can publish this application and you can make it available to the users you can have the two type of virtual network you can have one virtual network for developer and one actual network for the public now in this the developers uh, network uh, all the tools will be available where the application will be developed and the public virtual network which is also published in the application which can be consumed by the consumers and it will be payable chargeable actually so here what is happening in both the cases you uh, in platform as a services you don't have to worry about your infrastructure i mean you don't have to purchase a server install the application configure anything you don't have to do anything exactly you just have to purchase this pass as a visual studio 2013 python ruby and all these things available from the play pass platform of microsoft azure and use it and develop an application 
you can develop application on mobile also so mobile application is also available as a pass only and if the tools for uh, developing the mobile application is also available in this so using that you can develop an application for ios android and or uh, android mobile and tablet pcs right so all these things platform as a services is providing you this basically meant for production uh, developer and the person who is trying to sell the software as a services this services is good for them IAS is as an infrastructure services this is normally used by the company which is has already having an infrastructure now they wanted to just extend their infrastructure right in future as the workload increases so they don't want to dis discontinue their existing infrastructure so what they can do they can purchase this services and they can purchase the servers uh, switches networks and other things whenever it is required more so they will purchase it and whenever they don't want uh, this infrastructure whenever there is no requirement they can return these services the infrastructure back to this now the advantage is that here is that first thing is that you don't have to purchase a hardware you don't have to install the software you don't have to purchase the os operating system you don't have to purchase the application you don't have to purchase the opex for maintaining this i mean operational cost will not be there for maintaining your IP, IA infrastructure services and there will be no capex cost that is you don't purchase the hardware actually so your capex opex and your uh, capex is saving opex is saving and time is saving implementation time is minimized because you are having already ma machines with os and all those things so it takes just half an hour or within a 10 minutes or 15 minutes you can have it installed and it is available to the you and by using which you can work and this is basically used for the workloads where existing workloads are there so these workloads are nothing but an application which is i mean not this is the application which is running on the on premise which you want to move it to the cloud so in that case this infrastructure is going to help you because some applications are not compatible with the platform as a services or software as a services they may be having a lot of modification and application has to be done so we can just move them straight into the IAS services because this is replicating the uh, on-premise infrastructures so from there you can move it to this and you can access this so this is with some modification and all yes so infrastructure services is basically a workload places where corporate customer is already having an infrastructure here it is for developers and the company which is having a developer i mean uh, the development team inside uh, their company they can use this software as a services any end user or any end business a small business can use this software without so all these three you can see is services software platform and infrastructure is available to you as a subscription based i mean as a services you are not buying anything here so this is one of the now these companies are also there in the market besides microsoft azure salesforce crm dot salesforce is actually offering a crm based application which is a cloud based and this is a saas based right so this is having a SaaS infrastructure pass as a pass also they have and they are offering three services SaaS, pass and iass all three are offered by salesforce crm whereas google is offering pass and iass right so these are the services which is offered by so you can see only salesforce crm is offering three services besides azure right rexspace is only offering a iass type of infrastructure that is infrastructure as a services here pass as a infrastructure services that is google so you can see google salesforce amazon amazon is only offering the amazon and rackspace both are only offering iass as a infrastructure services google is offering pass and iass and only salesforce is offering all these three services which is even also offered by microsoft azure so that's what remember as a reminder